He's a good chance to stuff me. Yeah, yeah. So we'll take it in the game, off. man. Look at that safety game we just did, y'all, uh, man. We know most of y'all don't know that. Cause we see the bad angles they be taking. Yeah. We know most of oh, y'all don't know oh, that. Time. Cause we see the bad angles. That man said he ran to the pylon. But he never got he never got to the pylon. Nah, but we we trying to race to the pylon, it gave me like a good chance, like at least push him out of bounds. Yeah. So, cause if I'd at least try, cause I know I ain't super fast, so if I'd have tried to like eat him from behind, that was not gonna work. He was just gonna easily scope. Why do you think you're not super fast? Uh, I don't know, I'm not super fast. That's what the clock say when you run sometimes? What you mean, like? Cause you're saying you're not super fast, so you've been, you've been timing before, right? Uh, yeah, that was, I'm like my temperate, yeah, that Yeah. Was. I think the intensity of a football game is a different, totally different than running a 40. Yeah. I see you, bro. And the way you going from sideline to sideline, exactly. you are super fast. All right, man, Caneville, football bill here with Miami Northwestern, University of Miami commit, one of the most underrated safeties in the nation, man, Cam <laughs> Kitchens. Uh, what's going on, bro? Uh, doing good, glad to be here. Listen, you, you from Miami, right? Yes. You play youth football here? Yes. Um, who you play for? Um, Northwest Boys and Girls Club. You know anybody famous came from Northwest Boys and Girls Club? Uh, Let's see. Marcus Van Dyke. Uh, Van Dyke say. did play at the boys club. Shout out to Van Dyke. Um, <laughs> yeah, Van Dyke did play at the boys club. I don't know. I can't remember no other names, but I know it's a few. Norwest boys club. Right off the top of my head, Dorset Butterfield. Um, I, I like Norwest boys club Hall of Fame. <laughs> um, I can't think of none right now. I caught myself off guard with that question. So listen, um. Miami Northwestern. How you? Uh, how did you end up at Miami Northwestern? Were you considering any other high school? Um, yeah. Because when I was when I was in middle school, I didn't really know too much about like high school football. So it was just all off what my parents told me and asking other people. And then at first I was probably probably gonna go to Jackson because mm -hmm. my mom went there. Or I don't even know. It's probably Central because I was my home school. But like the West. Or even since you like when you even like ask anybody, the first thing that comes to their mind is uh, they got favoritism. You ain't gonna do good there and stuff like that. So, but then my uncle ended up getting a job there, so it was like my mom was like, "Okay, you can go there with him." Right, 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 right. He um, so you so you had a you had an in. You went to West. You had a connection. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Most people go to Northwestern. Uh, like both my parents went to Northwestern. I went to Northland. Uh, like when I asked Romello the same question, he said he didn't have a choice. Yeah, he said he like he was either go to Northwestern or, or die, that cause cause you know the the, the fan base and the, and the, um it's it just the tradition of Northwestern. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so you chose to go to Northwestern. Yeah. You started as a freshman? Um, no, started off playing JV. Uh huh. And then just worked my way up, cause you know my first year, it was just a yeah, perfect time to go to. You could say, cause my first year after playing. On JV, my my first year ever playing safety or any secondary position, because I played running back at Optimus. Right. Who put so, you there? Uh, my uncle. He like he showed me like statistics. He was like, running backs only a few get drafted in a year, but you, see this man? you only need like one or two running backs. But if you play corner, nickel, safety, that's like three positions. It's like six people on the field at one time. So you, it's better to better you chances listen, of making it to college. And you listen NFL. to him, huh? Yeah. Your uncle played in the league or something. No, no, you just listen to him. Yeah, he just. Man, did y'all hear what he just said? Like that was one of the first time I've ever heard a, a kid look at it logically like that. Like, um, cause you X watching him play, he'll be hell of a running back. Cause the, you could tell with the, the speed and the power he run with. But you went for the position at longevity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's a that's 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 a gem right there. Um, now, and a lot of kids don't listen either. They ain't <laughs> tell their uncle tell them something. They just do the opposite. Nah, that nah, that's that's what's up. So they so so you converted yourself to a safety, or you asked, can I play safety? Or no, nah, I just because one day I, I went to practice, did running back, and my uncle told me that. So next time, I, we just started working out to be a safety. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's um, that that's good stuff. But listen, man, a little off topic. Who your favorite artist? Like who you listen to in the car? I just heard you had some music on. Who your uh, favorite artist? Polo G. Polo G. What Polo G sing? He, he rap. He rap. But well, I gotta stop saying that. Every time I ask them what Polo G sing, they say he rap. <laughs> well, I know he rap, but I'm just 
That's how I get my old. I guess that's how I say C. What do you read? His what? Give me his, his his best song. Uh, he got a song called Twenty One. Got a song called Martin and Gina that be on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. He um. Usually when we ask people that man, they say Rod Wave. Ninety is but ninety eight percent of the time. Uh, he he a top rapper, but I don't listen to him all the time. No. Nah. No. You gonna pull OG? Yeah. So um, University of Miami. Oh, uh, who, who in this process? Who else? Who was your top five? Like um. I had Auburn, Texas a and LSU, and Nebraska. Was it a hard decision? Um, down the road, no. Like, teams kind of took out themselves. Yeah. Because Nebraska, would just, you know, yeah, RJ there and Marcus there. So, they were just telling me how it was going. Um, Texas and m it was just the unknown. Because, you know, with the pandemic, I couldn't visit there. So, mm-hmm. it was like... I can't go to the school I've never been to, and there's two schools I've been to. Right. Going to Auburn and Miami, and then came down to it. It was just what could like better me. I just knew more people as far as inside. Like I had a better better relationship with Coach Bandon and Coach McGriff. Yeah. And then I already had Coach DVD there. It was like the inside guy for me. Right. So. So so so. so. They, Miami just recruited you better. Like they made a better connection with you. Yeah. You visited Auburn. Yes. Come on. You visit, I heard Auburn got some crazy stuff, man. Like they fingerprint do. to go into. What? Like what? What they got? They got like finger, retina scan. What they got? To it go was into just the all dome. type of stuff. That would happen. <laughs> but my mama, like when, when I took her, it was just it was like everything was looking like so cool to her and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hammett Hammett said he walked in and saw the eagle. The eagle was in the cage. He said he still ran. He said the eagle was so big, he said it caught him off guard. Um, and the only two schools you visit? You got yeah, visit. LSU, but LSU right. kind of took out themselves because they had, first of all, like they had to stop recruiting me for probably like a month or two and mm-hmm. then tried to get back on. But then, of course, I'm looking at everybody else and they already had like three safety commits. Yeah. So. And, they, they, and, they, and then it was like you recruited me. It was like you telling me you want me, but at the end of the day, you still got three other safety commits. Why would I go to a place? Well, I even got to work even harder, even though I'm not scared of competition, right. but it's like sometimes you got to just do what's best for yourself. No, all the time you got to do what's best for yourself. Yeah. That's scared of competition. That's a, that's an emotional thing. Mm-hmm. Somebody say it to you and then you emotionally answer. That's emotions. You know what I'm saying? No, you always do what's best for yourself. Who did the research? You was doing the research on that? Uh, on the roster? It was me, my dad, mm-hmm. my uncle. It was like a little bit of everything. Like first they started telling me about it and then I started doing it myself. You think you think most you think a lot of players do that look that in depth into it or you think they just go to whoever got the retina scan or they go they go wherever um, they got the, the I don't waterfall know they go by the relationship but I don't think they look too much into it. You don't think so? Huh? No. But they don't think they look too much into it. They just whatever social media like I guess it gives them. So if they yeah. see on breaking news oh this person is committed then they be like okay so that's one less spot for me and then stuff like that. But they don't really go go yeah go into it see what the roster saying stuff like that. Y'all feel pressure like that? Like when them players start coming down from Miami and you like, man, commit after commit, you like, boy, I might be losing this spot. Cause that's what the coaches say to you, huh? Uh, they talk to y'all about spots and, and get in early and stuff. They don't, as far as like, us knowing that, yeah, but they don't like make it a big a big thing. No. No. But it you do like, look at school, that. school won't you? Yeah, they're a whole lot for you. Right. Yeah. So. Where, where, where did they have you rated at? Like in any of the, the websites, they had you rated at what? Top safety, second, third? Uh, no. No. I huh? think I'm like, it's 247. I'm like 20 something. Um, <laughs> on rivals. Uh, I don't know, rivals, I'm the highest. Like, I'm, I'm probably like, I think top 15, I think. Safety. I'll probably drop. Yeah, safety? I don't know. Yeah. 247. T, he say top 20. He say rivals, he like top 15. Safety. They got him rated. How you feel about that, big dog? Um, at first, I started to care about it a lot, but then, <laughs> I don't know, you just look at statistics and they be like, like certain five stars don't always make it, certain four stars, certain yeah. three stars. So at the end of the day, it's like, it's the individual, it ain't really about what they rank you at. Only, only rankings I care about is, well, I'm seated on the mock draft. <laughs> yeah, no, it don't, it, bro, it don't matter. Yeah. It, it, it don't matter, it's for, it, it's, it's for the fans. I know, but it, it'd be cool like to see it, you know, if you was the top rate safety, of course, it'd be like a good feeling. <laughs> right. But then when you, of course, anybody that's not top five feel mm-hmm. like they're getting cheated out, they spot. Right. They, should, they feel they should be up there. So. They, um, <laughs> nah, that, that's funny, bro. We know for fact, 
19 dudes ain't better than you. Yeah, I, I Listen, know that. man, I'm, I'm saying right now, so y'all can screenshot it, screen record it. In t- two years, three years, whatever it is, <laughs> you're going to realize that there wasn't 19 dudes better than this dude sitting next to me. I, I've seen too many players, bro. Yeah. From Lamar Jackson to Dalvin Cook, I've, I've, I covered them all. And and I have an eye for certain things. I can't even go sit up here and talk with you about 4-3 this and over under that. That ain't my thing. You know what I'm saying? That's X thing. But I have an eye when I see something. You know what I'm saying? When I see it, a talent. And you, there's not 19 dudes better than you. Yeah. It, 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 it's battling with one right here in town. And that may be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the only battle, you ask me. Um, the, the, the leadership part. The leadership part, man. I hear everybody say he's a leader on the field. Reminds him of every he a coach on the field, like having an extra coach. Where, where do you think that come from? Um, I, I can say my optimist, only person. Like most of the time, I was the best person on the team. Mm-hmm. So when we played up like against like Gwen Cherry, who we used to always lose against, or Liberty City, <laughs> overtime, like stuff like that. It used to be like the team wasn't like super scared, but like they was kind of like scared because oh. You hear about they got the best kids over here and stuff right. like that. So, and we don't have the best kids. So it was just all like rallying everybody up just to, even though we might lose, but still like to make them give their all. You ain't care? No, nah, I ain't. just wanted to go out there and, and do your best. I ain't, I ain't really care about winning. I just care about doing what I could do. Yeah. Just, just try to win. So. See, listen, it's normal to us the competition level down here, yeah. right? You saying y'all used to always lose to Gwen Cherry. Watch this. I don't even know who he was playing against at Gwen Cherry. Name some of the players that was on Gwen Cherry team. I don't even remember that, the you know? one I was on. No. no, you don't remember who you was playing against? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Liberty City team. Name some of the players that's uh, right now that you know for a fact. You got your, you got both of the um, Tim Brown, Tim you Boston. Yeah. You got um, You would play Jermaine. against you? Yeah. You and... Oh, I remember that team with you and, and Jermaine had, and yeah, all them. Right, you got you. Who else? It was Tim, um, Jermaine. Tim Brown. Yeah. Jermaine. Jermaine who? Uh, you know Jermaine that um that goes to Killian, the receiver yeah, big, number seven. Yeah, yeah, big boy. Tell us, tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, him. Mm-hmm. And they had a few other guys too. Right. So. In South Florida, that competition like that is very unique, bro. Yeah. And that's how y'all shop iron shop is iron. If you were to go right up the road, if you go right up the road in Florida, go to certain that it's not that, it's not that, and and and, and that a lot of times would make you more prepared when you walk into college because you've played against Talk, you Keith yeah. Brown, yeah. Your, like you had to go play against man every year, like every you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like he following you every year, you going up up, you got to play against this man, you know what I'm saying. Um, that that's that right there is is the unique part of South Florida and is is something that we have that you guys are, are privileged to. Um, so 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 you so from Northwest Boys Club you went to Northwestern and commits the University of Miami. They land you, and then they land the number one. We call them football player number one player in the nation, James Williams. Yeah. Both playing the same position, right? How do you envision that working? Are they telling you how that's gonna work or? Uh, well, I feel like me and James two different safeties. Uh-huh. And I'm more of the ball hogging safety, he's more of the rangy playing like you couldn't say like in the box, but like a striker position, strong safety. Right. And I'm more of the free safety. So I already know in practice that's gonna just build great competition. And when the game comes, it's up. gonna be easy. That's what's Because I know we go hand in hand because it's like like we're the same person. Right. So he has like his strengths and weaknesses, and I have my strengths and weaknesses. And we're gonna just, he could feed off of me, learn how to, I guess, be more of the free safety, and then I can learn off of him, be more of like a, a close to the, closer to the box safety. Right. So I feel like we're just gonna make each other better. Yeah, James, James um, played free safety. He wanted to play free safety, and he, he was big on that. But James don't never be back at free safety. James be, <laughs> James be closer to the line than the linebacker sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that, but that, I mean, that's his. That's, that's just him yeah. helping his team win. That's his chess. Yeah, that's it. that's him playing chess with the team. I totally yeah. get. It. I, I, now I did. I covered James since he was that big. Bro. Yeah. I've known him. I've known him all his life. Um, so so and Miami plays like three safeties. Yeah, they do. They they this year they played. I don't um I don't know if it's going to change, but this year they played three safeties. Um, like three safeties. Uh, speaking of change, man, we gonna we, one second. We gonna be right back. 
We're going to talk to you about change at Miami because something <laughs> did just change at Miami. Uh, we'll be right back, man. Football. For Shout out to the member of the week, man. We got Canes, 4421 Hurricanes, member of the week, man. Uh, we appreciate you, all the members. We appreciate uh, y'all joining, being members. I know y'all appreciate the information we give y'all. Uh, listen, being a member, man, means you just support what we're doing. You support what we're doing. You appreciate what we're doing. Um, and, and we appreciate it back. Cam, man, one of the top stages in the nation, bro. Who the best player you ever played against? Where you was like, man... This this tough. Um, you know, uh, Trey Sanders. You played against Trey Sanders. Yeah, oh, I was player. just talking about Trey. Every little dude, man. I remember one time. <laughs> it was the beginning of the game. Our tenth grade. Yeah, we we thought that's when we had Kalaj and Sam all them. Yeah. So we felt like we had a great chance. Yeah. So the first play, Trey Sanders. I think we tackled him in the backfield, and we just like, oh yeah, we got him. He ain't that good. He ain't that good. <laughs> uh. I think they punted, they punted that drive, and then we end up getting stopped, and we punted. And as soon as we punted to him, Coach like, come out and said, do not punt it to him. They still kicked it to him, yeah, and right. he broke through the hole, and I thought right. I had a chance to hit him hard. It was like a lane. I, I thought he didn't see me. I tried to pull up and try to smash him. He threw me into the dirt and then scold. And then after that, it was just Trey Sanders all day, all day, just, he just running it, just running it, and he couldn't do nothing to stop him. You know he played offensive line his whole youth football career? Mm-hmm. He's from Florida. He, he, he said he, uh, when I interviewed him, he was the one broke down IMG and a day a day in I, at IMG and how they oh, go yeah, IMG. Yeah, 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 that was yeah, Trey yeah, Sanders yeah, at yeah, Alabama. Yeah. Um, uh, he ain't even got on the field yet, huh? He ain't been hurt. No, he played. He got, he got, he got, he got, yeah? hurt. He got yeah. hurt. So he's still there, though, right? He that way. They talking about he might transfer. But um, he, 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 he played, but he got hurt. Yeah. yeah. Any amazing wide receivers you, you, you saw out there where he was like hard to guard or they was like, man, you got to get over there? You go help um, Tim out or go help um, <laughs> We had to pick against a few, but it's like we never see how good they is, the receivers, because that's what our game plan be is to take them out. So, like, we played, like, Tyu Bell. It was just our game plan was to stop him. How you take Tyu Bell out of game? Um, Put Tim on him, have me over top. <laughs> Bring pressure. Simple, huh? Yeah, that's, that's what we do. That's game plan. Don't, that's you, don't you see every receiver down. we go against – we put Tim on him, I play over top, Listen, and yeah, we just yeah, take him out yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. Listen, y'all heard what this man that. just said. He done played with who he done played with all type of cornerbacks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He done played with McNichols, he done played with uh with little homie that went to Nebraska. Yeah. First thing he said was put Tim on him. Put Tim on him and I'm gonna go over top. <laughs> That's the game plan. Tim was we we'll say that because Tim was committed to the University of Miami. Miami. A lot of fans were mad about that, you know what I'm saying, about him not coming. Uh just put Tim on and put you up top. Yeah, it was just it was, it, like for as far as my like last two, it was put Tim on him. But most of the time, uh, I think like my tenth grade, we had RJ on him. Right. But right, then right. It just you could you could just look at it every time we play a top receiver, they don't have the games they have because right. our our mindset at the West is take your best player out and make somebody else beat us. And if you can't do that, then. And you never really seen nobody overcome that. No, because that's all like, that's all we do. When we took out Ty Tyu, he probably had like two two catches, ten yards, and I was like on the screen and like on the comeback. Yeah, and he a great receiver. What about you? Did y'all focus on you? Of or he course. got he got the central too fast that first time. Oh, the first time we wasn't snuck in the game. No, yeah, because actually <laughs> we, were trying, to, we were trying to stop Murray. And right, that, no, right. actually the run game because yeah. they had a, them three good backs. Right, right, and right. You seen we we stopped that and then. Well, our focus wasn't on you, and he <laughs> came to get us. And next right. year, we made sure that was our focus. And you see, he didn't really had a game like he, right. was, he usually have, and that's with everybody. Yeah, and any receiver we go against is a top receiver or the best receiver on their team. We literally take him out the game, and yeah. Rashad, Rashad had zero catches the game. Yeah, I bring that up. Yeah, y'all played against wild. one of the most talented teams we've yeah. ever saw down here that on paper, wild. which is Palmetto. Palmetto yeah. got what four or five stars, Man. three five stars. Yeah, Palmetto got Y'all played stars. against them, and, and they didn't score much. They they broke. They, the funny thing about it before the game is he was saying that like, yeah, they didn't have a wide receiver, and I was like, dog, listen, man. they do got some wide receiver. Then Mike Jackson runs back to kick off, and I said, yeah. X. I told you they got some players, but, but you say that. Talk to me about play, uh, um, first of all that opening kickoff. It was it was just bad because of course you know I like once again I had a hamstring injury so I'm usually the safety valve right so I'm the person on kickoff 
who runs to the middle of the field and sits there and waits for anybody to break. Right. So right there, we just had to put one of our young guys that he he's fast he and he just took he, the wrong angle. To the wrong angle. He, <laughs> instead of me thinking, again. <laughs> yeah, he first of all he thought he he know Mike Jack was fast, but he felt like okay I could keep up with this guy. So he ran down here like yeah. try to tackle him, but you know Mike Jack fast fast. As soon as he took out, <laughs> as soon as he took the little step out, that messed up the angle and Mike Jack no, was gone. No, he was fast. Yeah, man. right after he scored, I told was I told LT I was like that's the last touchdown y'all get. I'm sorry y'all finna lose. You told that to Leonard Taylor? Yeah, man. I had to. And he laughed at me and was like, I don't know what you talk about, bro. It's funny because I'm talking about when they when, when before y'all finna kick it off. Um. I, I can hear y'all coaches like, man, make sure y'all tackle that. You know, they they, they call them something else. <laughs> yeah. like, and, and remember, I'm like, they ain't got nobody. Yeah, X like, thought all they had I'm was like, Rashad, okay, man, and that's it, why they was. He thought that's why man, they was putting Jason Marshall at wide receiver. And and I was like, no, bro, they got receivers. They just they they struggling to use them. Yeah. They don't use them. They don't. Cause I seen them play, and I'm like, well, they they don't do nothing. No, West finna do it. When they walk, when they got off the bus, I'm like, yeah, boy, the West finna blow them boys out. Them boys' eyes got big. They walking to the Mecca, <laughs> you know. And you know the West, they y'all 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 get off the bus, y'all intimidate everybody out. Yeah, Wait. that's yeah. we were just mad. They wasn't they wasn't there before we came out. Yeah, 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 they yeah. Came they got but the one thing I did say, I'm telling y'all, cause I'm like, man, look, they got some big boys in the middle, boy. Y'all don't run that ball. They like, man, we got them. I'm like, all right, don't run that ball with with, with uh, Lennon and. And say young. Yeah. Your future teammate, Leonard Taylor, he, he first play of the game, he stood up. First yeah, play. That, that was my first yeah. time seeing him play on that level. Um, he's going to Miami with you, Leonard Taylor. And y'all couldn't block him. Nah, it was, at all. Yeah, was, you knew he was that good? Um, I never seen him play in person, so I, yeah. I, it was always the highlights and stuff like right, that. Right. But then when I ended up seeing him, <laughs> I was like, oh, man. <laughs> and that first play was like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa, boy, they didn't even touch him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can hear the people in the side. I'm like, God damn it, somebody blocked that. Like, hey, I can't block that kid. Yeah, like, just, it's, he, he, he it's, just, yeah. it's, it's yeah. hard. No, no, that's that. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he messed up the whole game plan with that. Yeah. And, um, you know, that game, was it was, it was special because it's like, Okay, Palmetto got these five stars. Right. They got Jason, Collier, Leonard, Savion. It was so anticipated. So the we, West, we got, been West got Cam, Melo, Tim, and all of them. So everybody, that, that game, it was just so highly anticipated. Everybody was like, man, boy, this finna like. And it's crazy because I'm like, this is like your errors every weekend in yeah, Miami. South Florida. You know, South Florida. Like, what, what did you see on film when you looked at it? Like, uh, they have all the talent in the world. But what did you see? Um, I just felt like they never played no team like us. Right. Because it's just how we come into the game. We just, like I said, we always take the best play away. And y'all had to take away who? Points. Um, Rashad, of y'all course. Y'all had to take away Rashad? Yeah. Our, our game plan was to come out early, stop the run, and still make sure. Because I feel like, we feel like we play, you know, we play man a lot. But I feel like we are best when I'm um, roaming that safety. That's when I get the catch picks and stuff like that. So it was just a stop like in the middle because you see some games, of course, if a, if a team like that, like that throws the ball a lot, is able to get a run game going, it makes it harder on anybody. Right. So I, I game plan was just stop the run as soon as possible, which was like the first play they, they broke, but then after that it was you get nothing else. Right. And that just be our model all game. You get nothing else and you throw, that's playing right into our hands. We got the best, one of the best lines in my opinion in the state. And we got the, one of the best secondaries. So it's like, Rashad, no, you can't get nothing. You know, all you want to, <laughs> it, it's like, you got you to gotta try to find a place to get on the ball, but it's like, we already one step ahead. We yeah, already yeah, know you want to get on the yeah. ball. We know you want to get Mike Jack the ball right. easily and make him shift and go. So guess what we do? We press him backside. We already know a screen coming. You, you right. can't get it. We already know you want to go deep with Bashar. So guess what? We put our fastest DB on you. Him got to be our best. Put our fastest right there because we already knew if we put Tim on Bashar, we already know Tim. Of course, Tim was going to take him out the game. Right. And be me over top, but it was like, why well, put Tim on him and take our best man out the game? Well, our best cover guy out the game. So guess what we did? We put our fastest DB on him because we already know Bashar is super fast. Right, right, right. We let Tim take out. Um, Bob or Mike Jackson. Bob. Bob. Yeah, whoever was in the slot Bob. at the time. Right. Whoever was in the slot, Bob. that's who right. Tim was taking out. Uh -huh. Then we had our other corner on either Mike Jack or Bob. 
and then the other receiver, which we was not worrying about at all. Tim yeah. was Tim was covering um, uh, Jason a lot too. Right? Yeah, of course, you know, Jason, Jason was in the game. Jason, yeah, he, he's coming. Um, so, so listen, this. I asked Melo. I said, "Do you understand why IMG beat y'all every year?" And he said, "No." I'm asking you the same thing. You you understand why they, why they beat y'all every year? Uh, honestly, I don't know. You it don't just, get it. I feel like we come with a good game plan. I just feel like, especially this year, they just. I feel like our physical strength wasn't up to theirs uh -huh. with us not living and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then it would just, like, the, it'd be the mental part, though. Because you coming in, especially with everybody not being four stars or five stars yeah. and stuff like that, it's just the fact that when you come in and not, like, a role player is not saying like the star players, yeah. but you just come into the game and it's like, okay, this IMG, uh, the name IMG, like, right. they got the top recruits in the nation, they the best team in America and stuff like that. Right. So, so, so you really don't know. Like you can't put your finger on it. How does that happen every year? Forty-five or seven? What that? What's the word, Twan? Is is resources? Mm -hmm. They have. They, it's not that they have, cause you guys got a bunch of college players too. Yeah. It's the resources that they have. So every day, they're eating right. They're working right. That's uh, okay. So you got that right. Mm -hmm. Now they work. They eat right. Then they work training. They 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 working out. They go to school four hours a day, that's it. Yeah. Then the part of the game we never talk about, they're able to block y'all. And when they're able to slow y'all, block y'all, y'all already high stakes gambling. Who knows that? They're able to stop y'all rush. JJ McCarthy can stand back there and, and throw a 70 up. yard bomb. You know what I'm saying? That's, because and that's the thing you're talking about when I was saying before you don't play right. against those type of quarterbacks in South Florida. Right, right, right. With him it's, being it's, a good, a good it's, quarterback. It's resources, man. It's, it's, it's not, to be, to be honest with you, Cam, it's not, it's not, it's not fair. It's that in the cheek. Yeah, it's that's, not. That's it's a, not, a juke. That's a damn near a juke. Yeah, it's, it's not fair. They, they shouldn't, they probably shouldn't. They ain't supposed to play no high school team. The kids are your age. They supposed to be playing against it's, but college. It's, but it's the system. It's, 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 it's the system. It's the resources that they have that puts their team head and shoulders above a public school. Coaches who got to teach, then go coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, up front, they shuffling. Listen, IMG could run the ball every play. They wanted to, yeah. And the game will be closer, right? Fourth quarter come, I, I saw it many times. When Trey Sanders was there, fourth quarter come, Trey Sanders will break 70 yards. And you'd be like, how? Like, how does that happen every? Because they don't wore you down. You don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. And they realize it. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Part. I heard their coach say it after the game one time. They coach, after, when they beat y'all at Trash Power, he said, we know Northwestern is going to be tough, very physical and fast. But we knew they suck at special teams. Yeah, that's, that's how they beat us. He said it, dog. That's how they beat us. That's when they got the block. They blocked the punt. They ran back the kickoff. Resources. They have the resources to go over special teams every day. <laughs> For, you know what I'm saying? For 35, yeah. 45 minutes. They they have they they have resources that y'all don't have. But then, like like you said, resources. I feel like well, they they got. They're able to get the best player at every position. Yeah. So if you right. get if you get. 11, you got 11 players on the field. So if you got 11 of the best players on the field, you're playing Northwestern. Northwestern is a nationally known, everybody yeah. want to beat them because that's the West. Oh, that's from Miami. We got to beat them. We got to make a statement. So they, no, let's just, we going to beat them. That's I, the West. I, I don't know, though. If talent, and we football, beat the there's 11 players on the field. We've seen talented, more talented no. teams get whooped. No, talent, talent. It, it, it makes yeah. a big difference when you when you get the, when you got the right coach. Correct coach. Maybe I've seen teams get right out coached. We, we got, got video right of Max slapping them dudes in the head in the pocket <laughs> back in the day. Well, my defense ain't working when, when Mayweather was running all over him. Um, ah, well, you got the right coach. That was a pocket, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. When, yeah, when he lost now, the pocket. Why my defense ain't working back in we the got, day? We remember talk talk to AJ. AJ say, man, playing against the West. Damn, you got all this. All this firepower on offense, but why it ain't working against the West? Yeah, he, he like, said, man, he look, said, man, yeah, they, he, got, he said, they got, they got some know what they dogs. Gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> they got some dogs. He like, man, look, they gonna play yeah. man to man on the outside. My central officer coordinator and Cam back there. So he said, I know what they gonna nothing, do. Nothing we can do. I know what they gonna do every year. He said, but somebody gotta make a play. Yeah, that's he all said because they, they, play, they gonna yeah. put pressure. And they see, he said, somebody gotta make a play. He said because they tackle well, somebody gotta win a one on one battle because that's what they forcing you into do. But IMG can block y'all pressure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that boy stand back there 
and it's like you know you know in the back y'all always y'all vulnerable back there yeah. <laughs> because when it's high stakes the way y'all play yeah, when it's one on one, yeah. right so if you can get three five seconds to throw the ball and the right route treat yeah and that's it, yeah that's that, how yeah. i got scored on twice because <laughs> it was it's the fact that i wasn't in a Best position, but I was in a, a good position to make the ball, like to make a play on the ball. But then when you have a good quarterback like that, no pressure coming, he put it literally on like a drop of a dime, like in a perfect place where play. I can't touch the he ball. Can play, boy. Yeah, that, he didn't. He, he, he didn't, didn't, didn't even run. Against, he's going to Michigan, right? He yeah. didn't even run the ball against that. When he tuck and run that ball, boy, that boy fast. That's what shocked me about him. I was like, oh my, this man run the ball too bad. No, he could. He, he could. But like you say, they 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 coach the style. They got a coach the style to say, man. Um. All right, well, we're going to go over here because he's, he's the weak link over there. Right. You no, know, they got co coaches like that. So. If you had to coach against y'all defense, how, how would you beat it? How would you uh, try to beat it? it? It depends on the personnel you got. So yeah. if I had a good running back, I got to find a way to get the run game going because that's the only way you'd be able to beat us. Right. Unless you just got five super great receivers that's beating us man on man every time. Yeah. So... I feel like if you can't get the run game going against us, then you can't you shooting yourself in the foot. Cause you remember that year Central had the three running backs. Amari was a freshman, I think, and they Amari came out to play y'all. I think James, the second time. Cook was there, and they came out in three man backfield. You, do yeah. you remember that? Mm -hmm. um, did that catch y'all off guard? Um, yeah. Okay, so and I so so they came out in three man backfield, and I kind of knew they was gonna do that, and I thought I was like, they finna catch them. This might work. Oh, they said, boo, two times in a row. Two, they, they, it was nothing. And and they had to come out of it. I thought it was a great idea when I heard it. You know what I'm saying? They shut it down right off the bat. And he just admitted that it caught y'all off guard. Yeah, but I, I, And that's I, when they yeah. had who? They had the boy at the FIU. They had Amari. They had Amari, James KJ. Cook, yeah. James they had, Cook, and you're right, right, right. I yeah. thought that it would work. And they just shut it down. They came up out of it, and then they and they couldn't. I don't know if they didn't practice it enough. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they didn't install it right, but they did. The line was great, though. Yeah. Yeah. We had Kalaja, Sam. We had um, Sam Brooks, Kalaja. I forgot his name. The Beatrice, uh, May. Yeah, yeah. May, May, we, yeah. We, we had a, we had a good team. Yeah. So. so listen, um, you got recruited by Banda. Uh, you found out Banda was. Did Banda tell you he was leaving? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you found out Banda leaving. T. Rob. Name starts coming up, and he gets hired yesterday. Um, how you feel about that? Uh, great pickup. You know, yeah. uh -huh. it was just um, my uncle that was the coach at Northwestern. He he got a like they, he grew up with Coach T. Rock, so uh -huh. it was already like they had a connection. And then it was a funny story that my uncle literally was just telling me before I got here. My other uncle, he was saying that he was um, inboxing Coach T. Rock when I was like in like tenth grade. And yeah. was saying like, cause he from he live in South Carolina, so yeah. he like he texted Coach T. Rock like, yeah, you should get on him. I live up here, so I could, I'll probably help you bring him up here. Yeah. And it's just a coincidence that he comes to Miami when I'm going there. Yeah. You know anything about him? Um. Yeah, I know he, he produces a lot of DBs right. in the NFL and stuff like that, and, and he's a great coach. I I talked to him for a little bit, like when he was recruiting me for a little while. So, yeah. When when he's at South Carolina. Yeah. Man, I grew up with T. Me and T. Me and T. Rock played on the same little really? league team, in '95, '105. I had North Dade. How did his coaching career turn out? He just ended up being a coach and, and was uh, successful. You no, know, he went to Auburn. He went to Auburn. Um, mm -hmm. it's a funny story. Who that was? He played against in high school. He played against Central. Mm -hmm. You know, he played both ways, offense and defense. Played against Central. He had a hell of a game against Central, playing receiver. Next, you know, he gets offered by Auburn. Commits to Auburn, goes to Auburn. That was a pretty, you know, pretty decent good career. Yeah. And um, he played in the league for like two years. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Muschamp, Muschamp took him on his wing. Now he's, you know, now he's star coach. So he learned from Muschamp. He he becomes a hell of a defensive uh, DB coach. Yeah. Start recruiting. You know, he's from South Florida, so it's, you know he can recruit. Right. He take off like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying um, this year he's at uh, South Carolina, the defensive coordinator. And everybody screaming, oh. They defense I'm like, South Carolina suck, period. Like, don't don't act like he's the problem. Like right, South Carolina right. is really the problem. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so, right, right. But right. um he knows defensive back because he played that all his life. You know what I'm saying? He knows that uh he knows the passion for he understands the game. And that pickup we got, that's crazy. Yeah. 
<clears throat> one, one question a lot of Kane fans wanted to know was, when North, when North Carolina ran all over Miami, right? Mm-hmm. As a recruit, as a recruit, because I want to let them into the minds of, of how y'all, how you thinking. Because you committed to Miami, you going, you ain't wavering. But fans are sitting there looking at like, man, we're going to have somebody decommit after this game. Explain to them how you felt about that and, and how you viewed that and your outlook on that. Um, I don't know. I was, when, I, when I committed, I knew I wasn't flipping or nothing like that. Uh-huh. But it just, every team going to have like a bad game. Yeah. So, you know. When they have a bad game like that, it's all like, just look on the positive side, like, okay, I can come in and help change something. Right. So that's all right. it was. It was just like, okay, when I get there, try to not let it happen again and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So that's all it was. So you, you watching the game, you like, damn, boy, I can't wait to get there because they ain't, they ain't happening when I get there. <laughs> yeah, you doing was, that? Yeah, it was like, it was like, like hey, same thing. Like, dang, yeah. why it's happening? Like, <laughs> what, what's going on? And then it's like in the back of my mind, okay, when I get there, let's try to change something. Can you look can you look at the TV and, and see something wrong and why it's happening like that? Anything in your mind click like, man, the linebacker's too close to the line, or anything clicks like that in your head? Um, as far as that, no. It was just like I just feel like every time it's it's just man on man. If if they win if he wins the battle, then that goes to play. He doesn't right. break on the run. Or if this person like doesn't take that step or certain certain things, it just I feel like you beat your man every play, right. and you got the best chance to stop any team or vice versa. Yeah? Yeah. You ever get bored back there at safety? Of course. Especially <laughs> this year. It was after catching 11 <laughs> picks, they don't, they don't really want to throw your yeah, way. Yeah, they ain't throwing. They, they, they barely threw, threw back there by you. Uh, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's crazy because watching, yeah, this year, like I said, this year, watching you, um, every coach, every coach, um, I don't know if you ever seen – Bill Belichick talk about Ed Reed. Yeah. You know, he's like, man, I, I, I don't even know how to coach against this guy. Yeah. And it's like, watching you, I'm like, every coach said, it's, 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 they right. said something like, they say, oh, man, we five back there. I don't know why we finna right. get past five. I'm like, man, you know, the kid is good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, the game plan is like, man, look, go away from them, you know. But, you know, the way y'all defense was, what was set up is like, man, um, I almost knew everything that they, the, the office was doing. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, damn, it's crazy because just, we just see five, he's just sitting back there, just, and then he's going to make a play. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> you know, it, it, I played quarterback, so it's like you, you normally, you know, you're watching the safeties always, you're watching the safeties always, but when you got a safety like that, like I told people, I said, man, you probably maybe, the best safety sideline to sign I've seen since Kenny Phillips. Right. Man, that's, that's my guy right now. Kenny, and, yeah. because Kenny, Kenny be on the sideline all the time. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. When, when, you, when you made that play against, um, you made a play against who that was y'all played. And, and Kenny just started. I'm like, he's standing next to me and I just see him take off. I'm like, damn. Kenny yeah. excited about him? Nah. Yeah. Listen, man, special, man. He, I tell you, they got him rated as number 20. Man, ain't nobody 20 of safety. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, right. I, I keep saying, I say, man, look, it ain't, it ain't 20. It made us start. Yeah, we started creating safety. our own football field five it stars, it man. Because we know they're not going to give. Many better they're better. not going to give a bunch. Just give a bunch of five stars to one area. Yeah. And that and that takes away from somebody like you. We don't hear all that. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start just calling it what it is. Yeah. Because we know we know exactly what it is. Um, you are a five star player. I don't care I mean, what they want to call it. Five stars, top notch, made, he made all American, whatever they max call prep, it. all American two years in a row. Right. So it's. It's, it's hard to say somebody really better than if he gonna make Max yeah. Prep all American two years in a row. How you gonna say somebody's better than this? Right. Did did um did you talk to did you talk to Manny a lot when he was recruiting you? Uh, it was like in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, it was like come across a good guy. What? Talk yeah. good, don't he? Yeah, he, he real good. <laughs> I was, when they hired him, man, I wasn't sold, man. I went to go see him uh, in person. He went to talk to the media, and he started talking about Miami and South Florida and the culture. I was like, oh. You got a good coach. Man, look, <laughs> I was like, man, look, I like how he talking. When, 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 when Manny got hired at the D.C. with Britt, and I, was, I seen the press, I immediately say, I say, man, this guy sound like a politician. Like, he sound so he like he's ready really well. to, 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 to get you, you know, yeah. oh, to vote for him. He speak really well. Speak you know what I'm saying? And then really now well. he becomes the head coach. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah, he's a, you know, but then, yeah. obviously, you know, his dad was a politician. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so right. I'm like, yeah. Um, the one thing I get about Manny, man, you, he's 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 a likable coach. Yeah. Um, 
no, like you gonna like him because he's gonna he's gonna get you motivated from his speech. You know what I'm saying? Right. The way he talk. Um, obviously, everybody like Banda. Um, and, and Banda's almost like that too. You know, Banda's great. Banda get everybody fired up. Banda got to talk. He got to talk. <laughs> he get everybody fired up. Banda got to talk. He he he's always hyped on the sideline, oh. man. The games. He's the one coach you see running, bumping, and jumping. And I'm like, God damn, they just scored <laughs> twenty some points. You, he, he's he's still fired up, but he's that guy. Um, he's getting badly goes to uh, Utah State. He's gonna take DVD. You uh, know what's the other coach? Uh, Who? Zuckerman. Yeah. Gonna take a couple coaches with him. Um, so you know the fan well, well, that, that, well that may that may change. Yo, no, it's changed. DVD. <laughs> that may change. Yeah, DVD, I think DVD is gonna stay, but the fan base they going crazy. Oh man, we lost Banda, and somebody say, "Dang, say X man." Um, you no, know, Banda was the one coach who was really fired up on the sideline. Oh, when he said that, I was like, "Damn, you right." <laughs> Always fired up. Yeah, you right. Because all the other coaches be they be lost. Always like, lost fired his, up. But he understood. Banda understood that culture about. Let me get the kids hype. Right, yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tell, listen, tell me something about yourself people don't know. Like, tell me something like, like, Linda Taylor told us he eat Oreos and cheese. Like, tell me something about yourself that nobody don't know. You're scared of snakes. Uh, anything, man, that people don't know. I'm really up for it. I don't know. Just. Now, you don't do nothing weird. Like, Carson Hackett said he liked the snowboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, where you find snow at, fool? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you ain't got nothing? Nothing. No. No, nah, nah, I'm really up. You get you see what you get. Yeah? Yeah. So your outlook, yo, so you wanna be what? You wanna major in like after football, you wanna be what? A sports analyst. You wanna sit there up there like like Stephen A. Smith and and, and, yeah. and yeah. Why? Why why do you feel like Um, I don't know, I just love talking about sports and I feel like like people always say if you love something, you love doing it, it's not a job. So of course I already know football don't last forever and stuff like that so I feel like why not do what you love and that's talk about sports so, yeah yeah you and Melo and um look at Miami come here Miami come here y'all got you Melo Khalil, Khalil. Um, y'all talk y'all y'all talked about like hey man I can't wait to go play we can't wait to get there and play together y'all yeah. really we yeah. talk about it all the time I'm just getting there trying to just how we won rings at the west we trying to win rings at UM how many rings you got three you got to be, um, Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. When you was on JV, did they win? They won, huh? Yeah, that's when I, I had them win up. Yeah? Yeah, but I was behind Devon and Wild Goose, so it was like, yeah, they, they were just three, learning three, from three, them. Three, <laughs> they was going three <laughs> in a row. Yeah, I, I didn't right, really try right. to. Devon was right. I wasn't trying to make And when you was number 42. Yeah. yeah. All I did was sat behind them. They taught me a lot, so. Right, 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 right. You got, you got three rings. Man, this year, that game, I was out of town. He came to the uh, American Heritage Northwestern game. I would have bet my house. That y'all was gonna beat American Heritage that didn't have a quarterback. Yeah. I had no clue. When X was texting me that the game's still close, it's still close, it's still close. Tiger threw an interception, somebody kicking the field goal. I was like, man, what's going on? I would have bet the house that y'all was gonna beat them man, that low. I, I didn't think I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you when um the West jumped as soon as the West jumped off the bus, man, they jumped off the bus. I immediately looked at um um I looked at uh, what you calling them, uh, the other, the other um, media people. I said, man, boy, the West, yeah, they finna beat these guys. I, I would have bet the house on them. Because I, 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 I watched Heritage come out first. You know, that's before the West got done. I'm like, yeah, them, they don't, they not ready. I don't know if they ready for what the West finna bring. You know, the West jumping on the bus, they hyped, da, da, da. Yeah. You know, they, they do, they talking. And then, unless you know, I see number 20 come running out. I said, uh oh. James going. Yeah, he come, he came running out by himself. But when he did that, I said, we might have some game. <laughs> we might have some game. Yeah. And then he came out, he went back His in. Dog. And then yeah. when they came out, you know, and like you said, they, they coaching, man, they came out, they just came out so settled. Da, da, da. But once the, once he got kicked off, I said, damn, okay, this this gonna be a right. game. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the, the back and forth, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look at five, I'm gonna look at 20. Who finished? Who, who got the mellow? Right. Da da da. And Tim Burns. I'm watching Tim Burns the whole game. Tim Burns. He having a hell of a game. Like, every time they throwing it over there, whatever. Yeah. Tim, Tim balled out that game. Yeah, he's killing it. Like damn. 
why the West can't like the West supposed to beat the blow these? They didn't the really have a good game. Yeah, the offense. That's what you 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 would you, you the one if you had to say one reason y'all lost, you would just say the offense didn't play well. Yeah, that was you could like clear as they see that yeah. we helped them to what like probably like twenty yards or forty yards in the first yeah, half. Man. Yeah, man. We had zero yeah. points. It was three zero. It was just. It was just like little mental mistakes. Like we got on the goal line, we jumped off sides on the one yard line. Like right. it, it was nothing like you could teach it or was, not teach. It was just, we just didn't take advantage of our opportunities. Defensive game, defensive game. So yeah. second half, when it like, we came out like kind of like, you could say laid back. Cause we was like, okay, we got them where we want them. Right. Cause you know, I think it's make them, we already know Heritage, we got a big old number four back there. That man big. Yeah, he, he good. <laughs> So man, big, man. it's like Fletcher. if you stop him from yeah, getting the Fletcher, ball, yeah, yeah, they can yeah, throw yeah. the ball. Right. Yeah, that's what we want to do because we feel like I think I, I'm I gonna get back there. And right. we, felt, I, we personally felt like this is not the best quarterback we ever won against. So it's like we not we really scared of him. Right, right, right. So who was it? Did, was it Blake or was it? It was Blake. Oh, well, Blake. Blake was back. After yeah, no, he was Blake back. Was back. Yeah, he was back. So it was just you know towards the end of the, the second like second quarter was like itching him to throw the ball. Right. But it was like, we can't make them throw the ball if we don't score points. Yeah, yeah. Y'all was, was trying to make them throw the ball. Yeah, because like, that's what we wanted to do. Through. Yeah. Because we just felt like, okay, you got Vince, and then after that, it's like, right, you got right, you. Right. But they, they coaches knew that. They coaches like, yeah. man, we, we doing enough to not lose the game. If we throw the ball, because even when I walked on the side, I ain't like, man, we ain't, we not going to pass for what? Right. We know we can't throw the ball enough, so yeah. we just gonna keep running. We, so they, they kept stop running. us. That's Even it's three zero. We so gonna play. We gonna play defense. You could. They could easily chew out the clock and kick a field goal, tie the game, or even score. So it was like. So both teams were just choosing to play yeah, defense. Yeah, like, yeah. Both teams, yeah. <laughs> like but but gonna, literally, we just gonna play defense. Literally, the wet um, heritage was like, man, we just gonna run. We gonna keep. <laughs> we gonna keep giving this ball to Fletcher. They gonna get tired. They gonna get tired of tackling him. Yeah, yeah. we lay, we can't lay. Kind of lay back in the second half. First drive, they win the score. So mm -hmm. now it's like. Defense, of course, not panicking. We like, okay, this a touchdown. We like offense. Like, go right. do what y'all do. Score points. Right. They didn't score. They, they end up putting us in a bad situation. Fumbling the ball. James recovered it. Yeah, we already know they yeah, come yeah, on the yeah. sideline hype. So we already know defense gonna come out hype. Okay, we got this. We gonna just make a stop like any other time. We make a stop. Like, like when we play Central. Since you got on the since you got in the red zone twice. How many times they scored? Zero. So we already know they came in the red zone. We there. Guess what? We hold them to a field goal. So it's like, okay, we did our job. Offense, come back and score, please. And then I know I think how did, I, how did Khalil end up on defense? Um, game plan. Yeah. Yeah, because as far as Hound, we already know Hound was like battling with injuries too. So well, it was Hound like, was hurt too. Yeah, so it was like he couldn't. You know, Blake is like I didn't know he was that fast. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. even know Blake was that fast. <laughs> yeah. So Hound wasn't like able to get him. So throughout the whole week, we already know. Okay, they got a running quarterback. How not really like as fast as he usually is. So let's train Khalil to, if we need him, right. get in that situation, and that's how it, that's how he was able to play in the game. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Cause I was like, how Khalil get over that? Cause I know y'all lost Hammond early, yeah. and I didn't know how was how to see him. How was the same, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, how was how was, was, how was, was better hurt. injuries. Right. Um, um, they had that. That's that. Remember the, the the guy who came last week? The we had came a linebacker here last week. Here last week. Um, he came in, uh, he, and he's, he he started that game. He started. He um, got uh, thirty one. Yeah, Carlton. Well, Carlton. Car 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 yeah, yeah. Huh? Khalil. Khalil. Khalil, Khalil. Yeah, Khalil. He said he started and, and had three sacks. Yeah, three sacks. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah. 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 He yeah. said he started that game and had three. So he. So that's how he ended up getting started, huh? Because now, throughout the whole year he was like on and off, on and off. But then he had when Corey got hurt, it was okay. Yeah. This your spot now. Yeah. Yeah. No, he looked like he looked like an athlete. But listen, we, okay, so Miami man, you you when you when you going to school? You going early? Twenty first. You going twenty first? Twenty first. This month. You ready? Yeah. You know them grown men. Fool. I already know. It's about to, <laughs> the grown men is about to change. But what's your mindset going into that? Uh, you gonna walk in there? You it's a you? You gonna see the big you in the locker room? <laughs> you gonna have a locker? Uh, what you just gonna? Put, what, what's your mindset? Uh, come in there and prove that I can play. Yeah. Cause I, it, it's like. It's not the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna just sit back and wait my turn. Of course, I know that's gonna happen, but it's like, come in, I can show and I play, get in the rotation, and just work my way up the depth chart yeah. as much as I can, so. All right, man, but listen, man, that's, you got something for him? I was gonna say, what's, what, what, what safety you um you, you look at and say, man, that's that's type, that's my game. I, I, of I like course, that. Ed Reed. Like, yeah? Yeah. Ed Reed fan? Yeah, it just. You ever talk like, to him? Uh, I talked to him probably like twice. Yeah, he called you? Yeah. Yeah? He was like, 
every yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you gotta keep your cool ass yeah, sometimes. Uh, 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 every every motherfucker. Yeah, no. But not yet. That is that you. That's a big deal to you. Yeah. That, 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 to to kids. See, sometimes we think the kids like every older. He like ah like we. They don't know. Like you look at that and say like that boy, that's Hall of Fame Aerie. Y'all yeah. do look at it that way. Yeah, that's the dad is. That's the you know, right Ed say something, they be like, yeah man, Ed said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you look, you look at Aerie game, you look at Khalid, um, Cam game. Yeah, they play. I mean, when I seen, it, I said, yeah, he play, he plays like that, cause he, he's back there. He's, he's your safety value. Yeah, which is what Aerie was. Yeah. He's gonna go make a play. Um. You don't need that. All right. right. We, need, we need somebody to go make a play. All right, man. That's Cam Kitchen. Top safeties in the nation, man. He ain't nobody 19 or 15 <laughs> or none of that crazy stuff, man. Um, football Bill, man. We about to get up out of here. Like, share, join, and shout out to the member of the week. Appreciate you, bro. That's the longest we ever went with somebody, man. <laughs> Let's go take three motherfucking days, and that's what? Big time players step up in big games.